Hey, uh, I'm going to make a little motion robot that can uh, uh, wave, say yes or no. And uh, I thought I wanted to show you how I'm going to make one. Uh, first, we're going to have a li little look at the, the supplies you will need. Uh, three servos. I've choose the small type, which name is uh, Tower Pro SG. 91R. I got these from uh, eBay. You, uh, we will also need a transmitter receiver system. This is the transmitter, this is the receiver, six channels, and we will need a receiver battery pack. All of these things come from uh, eBay. Yeah! So we are out there in the small workshop and uh, we will need some extra things. And uh, as you can see, I brought my servos. We will also need pen and ruler, glue gun and some glue, some uh, tree or plywood, uh, preferably a scroll saw, but you can also use a hand saw. And uh, if you're using a scroll saw, you will also need eye and ear protection. So uh, now I uh, draw uh, the body. This is where we are going to mount the head and stuff, so let's cut it out on the scroll saw. It's important that you remember the eye and ear protection. First of all, we have to install the uh, supports. So just make sure about here. They will be glued on. And then the other side should be like this. So, I also cut out some uh, arms. Uh, they're going to be here, about. And one of the arms is going to be attached to uh, this servo here. Glue it on like that. And uh, it will be waving. So, that's one of the futures. Uh, just. I think we can start by installing it actually. Some glue here. This into here. Like that. Whoops. Just make sure it's steady. Yeah, and it's pretty much dried out so there will be the waving arm and the other arm we're just going to glue straight on here uh, I think it will look best there just make marking so I remember where it should be like that and some glue and there we have it our uh, first arm is Installs. To install the uh, waving hand motor, we're going to have um, this support uh, glued to the other support and uh, the servo glued here. So we'll start by gluing the servo to this holder. Like that. Done. Yeah, that looks great. Some more markings here and some glue. And there we have it. Our first servo has taken place. I think that would look pretty awesome.
So now we are starting with uh, the head. First of all, we're going to have uh, this future, which uh, indicates no. Then we're going to have this, which indicate yes. So the servo is going to be mounted on uh, here to make the uh, no uh, uh, sign. So we'll just put some glue there. Get this in. Like that. Oh, it's not glue. So, I hope everything's right now. Just check. Yeah, that's that's good. Got some glue up here on the top as well. Like that. Looks pretty awesome. I'm going to attach uh, this little piece here. First. Hope we can stand some heat from the glue. Like that. I'm going to attach this servo here, like this. Just find the center and uh, put it up like that. So we can see it has the yes. And now, let's see now if I put the servo in the front, maybe a bit here. You can say yes and no. We just glue the little neck here. Some glue. Tra la 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 la. So there it is. Uh, the uh, person is Rete. Hello. No, I don't want to say hello to you. Yeah, no. No, I don't want to say hello. Yeah, I don't want to say hello to you. Yeah. That was my weird moment today, so let's go inside and wire it up. It's pretty cold, uh, dark and cold in the winters of Norway, so better go inside. So uh, we are back inside now to uh, wire up the receiver uh, with the servos so that's pretty much much good place and uh, I made a little note here for myself to see which channel I wanted to use and this is channel 1 this will be the uh, shake head for no as you turn your head this, this will be no, and this is channel 2 and it will be yes. This is the BRA, so just turning that will wave his hand hopefully. So the wave was channel 5. And the uh, channel. No, that was channel one. And last but not least, channel two. And we have our battery. Hopefully. Oh. His head started turning. 
when I put the battery in. Let me give you a better view. Uh, so, there he is. And his head started turning, so now it's pretty much bent. Oh! Bang! When I turned on the transmitter, it was... It got even more bent. He says no. And he says yes. And he... Waves. But there are some weird noises. And I will have to do some investigation. Whoops! It fell to the ground. So I tore his head off and found out that this. Uh, whoops! That this servo here, the mount goes into his neck. So, better use one of my best friends, the Victorinox, to fix that problem. So, uh, after some modifications, uh, the man is up and running again. Uh, first of all, here's his front face, and so, and if we turn him around. We can see that the receiver is lying here, connected to the three zeros, and the battery pack is there. And when I connect the battery pack, he kind of goes crazy. So, so I'm connecting the battery pack uh, soon. And he went crazy. His head is totally bent and his arm is long down. And as soon as I turn on the transmitter, he's back to normal. So, I don't want to be in this movie. Yes, you want? You want to be in this movie? Hey man, nice with you. Oh, there we have it. Hey man. Nice video, man. No, it's not a nice video. Yes, I think it's a nice video. And as you can see, this is no, this is yes, and this is hello, man. Hello, man. Nice video. So, I'm also going to show you my instructable page. So, my name is uh, Doug Elias. Just search up there on Instructables, and not you, because that's me, but uh, Doug Elias. So, thanks for watching.